Welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. We got a lot to do today, let me tell you what. How's it going, everybody? It's Mario Team. I should, I should start that again. Uh, welcome back to Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. We got a lot to do today, so let's get started. We saved the paper from the pigs. Turn ah, the for the Nintendo GameCube. Get back to. <laughs> I don't even know what the fuck you're saying anymore. Here to go, here back to Rupert. Anyway, <laughs> we got a crystal star. We got to take to the thousand year door. But, but first, there's an email. Oh, okay. More spam. Do you want to make your toadstool bigger? Well, let me tell you how. I only learned what the legendary treasure is. It's the spirit of a demon. Oh. <gasps> The x dots plan to revive this thousand-year-old monster and use its power to take over the world. They're collecting the crystal star so they can open the thousand-year door. Is that why they call it the thousand-year door? Well, uh, we'll get to that. Okay. You must not let them get the crystal stars. Please, Mario, you must put a stop to their horrible plans. Princess Peach. Well, that doesn't sound terrifying or awful at all. I like how there's no, like, there's no fear in Mario, especially Paper Mario, where he reads about this ancient demon, thousand-year-old demon, and he's just like, well, all right. Well, the only fear that uh, Mario would really have is solely on the player. No, well, that's a good point. And really, Luigi, I guess, is the fearful one. Well... Actually, wasn't the fearful Luigi thing started in a Mario RPG? I think it started with Luigi's Mansion. That makes sense. Because Mario knows no fear, Luigi knows only fear. And yet he's still the hero of his own franchise, and apparently <laughs> the hero of his own story in this game. Subscribe to Luigi's only fears. <laughs> You could put up pictures of, like, a cockroach, and he'd be like, WAH! <laughs> no! You know what? I, I'm gonna make a prediction now. If somebody actually uses only fears, you need to, like, sue for royalties. <laughs> like, the Halloween version of OnlyFans, except you just look at, like, spooky stuff. I'm on the top 0.5% of all creators. Uh, boo. <laughs> ah! Okay, here's five dollars. Yeah, that's what I thought. So we're gonna power up uh, Vivian, because, uh, again, I don't like using Flurry. And Vivian's just so much stronger, especially with the power she gets after this. I've given you the power to detach from the floor! Wait, no, come back. She's got an all enemies fire spell. I'm sorry. What did you say? I said she's got an all enemies fire spell. Thank God, then. Then all the enemies are made of fire. And it takes and it takes six flower points though, so it's really expensive. Oh, good lord. <laughs> okay, well that that kind of I'm not gonna say it softens the deal, but yikes. So now we have a super hammer, and I'm gonna see what this is for. What a! Oh, hey, look at that! Well, that was cool. And this is just a shortcut to the thousand-year door. You don't gotta go all the way to the right and take that plane and come over here. We can just hop on that spring, and here we are. Excellent. All right. So, first thing on the list: take the crystal star to the thousand-year door. See where it takes us. We can go ahead and check that off right now. So where do you think it's gonna be this time? Wait a minute, didn't we just get an important email saying don't do that? Like, this exact thing, do not do. Well, uh, we really don't have a choice. Well, alright. Hmm. Yoshi's Island. It's the blue star this time. <laughs> I 
That's a lovely pose, Mario. Strike it. Uh. I'm glad Vivian already knows that we need to go to the professor's office. I guess we told her a lot between episodes. Well, it's either that or all the other companions just, like, knock their heads together and it's like, here's the knowledge that you need to know to be a, a party member in Mario's gang. This is an orientation course. So the legendary treasure is actually the spirit of an ancient demon. And they're going to use the power of the crystal stars to resurrect the demon and destroy the world. Oh, okay. Are you ready? Oh, yes, sir. <laughs> it's just a fourth wall, my dear. Pay it no mind. You know how my house's wall just kind of falls down whenever you need to go inside my house? Well, that's the fourth wall. So this monster created the crystal stars. The crystal stars control the monster, so we need to get the crystal stars to control the monster so it doesn't destroy the world. Gotcha. You know, if I actually had talent to make a game, like, along the lines of this, instead of, like, in a big beast wanting to, like, try and control the world or whatever, I just wanted to, like, it created the seven magical wonders to order a coffee one hour earlier because he has a long commute in the morning. I just have it be all Waluigi. <laughs> yes! With the Crystal Stars, I will have my own video game! <laughs> and even then, it gets cancelled halfway through development. No! Sorry, Waluigi. Maybe some other time. So, uh, the seal is weakening, so we might not even need the Crystal Stars to open the door anyway because it's been a thousand years since the door was created, so which means it's probably going to open. And what are the odds that this year is, of course, the thousandth year? So the people who erected the door was like, okay, so guys, this door is only going to last a hundred years, so uh, we're going to call it the thousand year door. Just oh, so well, that's, a thousand, that, that's a thousand years from ours problem. Yeah. Oh, yes, uh, well. This and that. So, we gotta go to Keel Hall Key. This is where the next star is, but nobody wants to go there, because it's fucking curse. Well, thankfully we have the embodiment of a curse following us right now, so let's go, ghost girl. So, next thing on our list. Get to Keel Hall Key. Gotta mm. do that. Let's All right. go. We'll start by heading down to the docks. See what we can find. Are we going on a jaunty adventure off into the ocean? I feel that, man. There oh! Is a, there is a boat here, but what? nobody seems to be using it, so, uh... Uh, time to, uh... Oh my god, what's it called when you steal a ship? Hijack? I thought there was an actual pirate word for, like, commandeering? Is that it? But I don't know. Do I look like a guy who boats all day? Let's get Jack in the boat, man! I don't think that's it either. Huh. Oh. Okay. That'll come in <laughs> handy later. <laughs> you turn yourself into a paper boat? Like an origami <clears throat> boat? <clears throat> Are you fucking kidding me? <clears throat> it's in Origami King! You can't become an origami boat! Oh, hey, look, it's Luigi! Luigi! Tell me yeah, about your put, latest adventure. Let's, let's throw him on the list. I mean, he's standing in front of the dartboard, so I can't play darts, but uh, let's go ahead and see what, uh, what adventures he's been on since the last time we saw him. Let's hear what happened. This is Circuit Break Island. Dude. 
Well, like I said, it's a really long story, but here goes. Just as our boat arrived at Cir Circuit Break Island, we heard this incredible racket. We soon found out that they held cart races almost every day on the island. Whoever takes first place in the race gets to rule the island as king for that day. Just as we got to the racetrack, they were holding the awards ceremony. I couldn't believe my eyes. Right there, on the trophy, they give to the winner. It was another piece of the Marvelous Compass! I almost passed it away. I decided right then and there that the only thing to do was enter the next race. I mean, I've driven in car races before, so I thought I'd be okay. Boy, was I wrong! The cars were supercharged machines that could send you airborne with their exhaust! These vehicles were armed with missiles and bazookas. It was anything goes, bro! Of course, I wanted to get right out of there pronto. These drivers were crazed! But I worked up my courage and signed up anyway, and my race day finally came. I got one of the beasts. I got one of the best carts, the big green 01! I took my position at the start line. The light went green, I stomped on the accelerator, and something bad happened. I was in reverse! The big green 01 went rocketing backwards with me yelling! I crashed into the wall behind me hard enough to cut off me mid scream. <laughs> in one fell swoop, I dropped into last place and wrecked my racing machine. But it wasn't all bad news! All the other carts crashed because of my maneuver! Once I got in gear and took off, I was in I was the only car left. I won by a country mile, bro! I took the piece off my trophy and added it to the marvelous compass. The compass came to life and pointed me towards Jazzafrast down in the east. Then, I heard that voice. Prince Declare's voice echoed in my ears again! Oh, my princess, random words would form poetry if spoken by your voice! I will most definitely save you. Just wait for me, Princess Declare! <coughs> oh, um, sorry about that, bro. <coughs> so after I got, I got on my boat and came back here to Roadport, and that's what's been up with me. <sighs> what's the real story now, pal? ha <laughs> Well, you know, you gotta leave some more for the audience's wanting. Love to make an RPG where uh, you're the you're the uh, you know hero, of course, and all of your party mates just had nothing but contempt for you. <laughs> They're only in your party for their own personal gain. There's no. There's no camaraderie by the end. They they're just like, all right, can you take us to the next point, please? I got the first crystal. Get a load of this jackass. So, yeah. uh, uh, probably thrills, I'd say. Just like little snarky side comments whenever you do something amazing. May I see what's for sale at your general store? Yes, you would be sure at your general store. Shut up. We did it, guys. We defeated the ultimate demon lord. <laughs> Jackass! Just keep, you know, doing the hand motion and, you know, doing the tongue-in-cheek thing whenever he does a big, big dramatic speech. It's like, we are friends, and our friendship will save the world! Oh, brother, get this guy off the stage! You know, your, your mocking voice reminded me of the Spongebob meme, and I think all all of your like, five party members doing that in the background would be a great visual gag. <laughs> we are friends and friends happy together. Someone's got bunny ears behind him while he's doing this. One person's doing like a... <laughs> <laughs> silently, off, you know, off to the side. Actually, uh, you know what? An actual heart-to-heart, -heart, like, right near the end of the game, and they all take, you know, like, one of those group photos before it says the end in the corner. <laughs> they all put up, like, different animal ears on everybody else to show that they're not just making fun of the protagonist anymore. They're all making fun of one another because we're all friends. And then in the final shot, BAM! They back-tag him. Yep. So it's just you, the main character, going, oh! While everybody else is like, ha, ha! Immediate cut to black and then Chris. Oh my god. Ideas. They're welling up. So, uh, Flavio here is a seafaring merchant. Seen him a couple of times in the bar here. He owns the boat that's by the docks. And he's gonna take us to Keel Hall Key only on the condition that he gets to keep the treasure. He don't give a shit about the Crystal Star as long as he keeps the pirate treasure, and that's more than fair, I think. Yeah, okay. Sure. In fact, I'll toss you 20 bucks if you're just, you know, giving the best seat in the house. Dude, it's already ready. I, I saw it, dude. There's no need for the... 
the air of mystery about you. <laughs> he pulls out a model boat in a bottle. It's ready! Okay, no, 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 that's... Oh, oh, Flavio, sorry. please. Oh, I need an actual God. ship that I can go on. Well, you can go on it. See, watch. Smashes the bottle on the ground. Get on it! Well, hey. Let's go down and see him, yeah? Let's head yeah. down to the docks and get this ship a rolling. <laughs> you know? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Wow. Got a crew ready in it. Wait a minute. That is no time. Hey, hey, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Uh... Hey, you. Uh-huh. Uh... Mm. I don't buy your shit for a second, dude. Excuse me, did you happen to hire a uh, a cook on the for this voyage? Uh, did he happen to mention his name is Long John Silver? Oh God, get him off the boat! We're all gonna die. I'm, I'm, I'm very particular about seafood, and fast seafood is just a lie to me. <laughs> You ever had ocean fresh mahi mahi? Oh yes. Oh, oh, oh god. <laughs> so there's a little issue. We don't have a navigator. Well, let's just you know second star on the right, straight on till morning. Let's go. No, no, no. We really need a navigator. We 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 really need a navigator. We super need a navigator. Bowser, Bowser, Bowser. Oh, oh he can't navigate shit. He's got a clown car that broke, but hey, he could try. He doesn't have the great, the best track record, so I'm not. You know, he always gets lost in shit, so he ain't navigating anything. But there is a legendary sailor in Roadport, Admiral Bobbery. I just noticed that that Bobom's like wind up key is a bunch of bones. That's my spine, sir. <laughs> I'm in constant pain. So, you know, we're the captain. That means we gotta, we gotta go find Admiral Bobbery, bring him on the boat, and okay. All right. So, where the hell is this guy? Mm, is he fishing? Is he using himself as the bobber? Uh, no. Why not? Oh, that'd be perfect. I was like, hey, there's a guy drowning over there! Pull him out! He's attached to a fishing line. Well, you want to find anybody in this town, you talk to the bartender. Everybody drinks at Rogueport. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? If you ever want information, ask the barman. They know everything. So way in the eastern part of town... ...is Bobbery's place. So let's get going! Well, that was extremely easy. Yeah, simple. I mean, what else does the bartender know? You want to know how to save the most on your taxes? Uh, oh, <laughs> bartender, really? Do you know why kids love Cinnamon Toast Crunch? <gasps> why, I of do. course. <laughs> the answer will shock you. He goes into like a 25 minute spiel, and by the end, you know, you're, <laughs> you're a little just like slack jawed and like. Uh, uh, wow! I, my eyes have been open here. I, I can never get the timing just right on this, because he doesn't have, like, you know, a jump, he just immediately starts floating. So, there we go. Oh, wow, I was wondering what you were doing. Yeah. I thought you were just thought you just wanted to talk to the bandit. Nope. Oh, wait. She's oh. shy oh. right up there, we can get any time. But right now... Yeah, right in. Thank you. Admiral Bobbery, ladies uh, and gentlemen. I've seen this guy. Yeah. Yeah. What's up, dude? I just understood why his name's Bobbery. Oh, God. What? Why is his name Bobbery? I guess it's the first part of bob -omb. I guess you're right. Well, eh. No, no, no. Well, uh, yeah. Just imagine if every Bobom, first name Bob, last name, <laughs> and then Bob Aubrey. 
<laughs> well, you, well, you remember that uh, that one bomb you were looking at earlier with the with the bones on on his back? Yeah. You know, what, you know what his name is? Uh, Bob Omri. Patch. Okay, so so they're going with a theme here. I understand now. Hyphenated, I'd say. Either either Bob or hyphen. <laughs> you know, when they get hitched, they never want to take their partner's last name, so it's always a hyphenated name. I mean, if we were bob you would be Naniskal, and if I were bob <laughs> I, I would be Bob-U-D-J. <laughs> the the, the U -D -U -D -J. It's like we all have a stutter now when talking about our names. So, Bob is not going to come with us because he has no interest in coming out to the sea again. So who do we talk to if uh, he doesn't want to go? Well, we force him onto the ship. That's right, the barman! Uh, well, okay. Sorry for coming over the bar multiple times, but I just wanted to speak with you. You clean it, right? <laughs> He's got an explosive temper, that one. He's got a reason he for not wanting to go back up in the water, though. He lost his crew in the ocean. Alright, guys. Prepare your tissue boxes. And prepare to steal yourself, because here it comes. He was once married, and he had a wife named Scarlet. Their love was bombastic. But then, one day... <laughs> Scarlet, she. The ice took her. A cold. It turned serious. The she was no sniffles. longer. She was no longer meant for the sea. She died. She got sick. He was away. And she died. So he blames himself. And that's what he's been doing for the past however long it's been. Oh, that story's such a bomber, man. <laughs> yeah, absolutely! <laughs> he's gonna get over it! How long has it been? Two weeks. Uh, well, that's long enough. Come on. It happened yesterday. Well... What? Well, we why were you keeping this? <laughs> These two were always a fan of puns, and I believe the last thing she said before she passed on was, It was a blast to be with you, Bobbery. Well... We've got the letter now. So now we're gonna make him an offer he can't refuse. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Mario's just waving the letter in the air, violently screaming and running. Bobbery! <laughs> I've got a thing, 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 you gotta read it, gotta read it, gotta read it, come on! Hey, I got a letter from your dead wife! I, I mean, hi! Hi! Look at this, though! I have no arms. He explodes and it just opens. <laughs> My love, if you're reading this letter, then I am no longer by your side. I'm behind you. Because fate has set between us, I have decided to write you this letter. His name will be Mario. He is fate. If you're reading this, I might have passed away while you were out to sea. I can only assume that you will blame yourself for it, my sweet Bobbery, you dumbass. Although my life was short, you gave me more than a lifetime's worth of joy. A short fuse, if you will. Though you will mourn, I beg that you remember that time, like love, is a tide. You are one with the sea, as you are one with me. Do not lose both your lives' loves. Life's love slept slept blah.
And he rubs one out over Scarlet one last time. <laughs> oh. E. Uh, clean yourself up, all right? Why does he need two axes? <laughs> well, the third one went into Scarlet. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, maybe this isn't an illness we're dealing with here. Hmm. Mm. Her illness was severe death. Followed by not living. Well, that was surprisingly uh, easy. <laughs> got our navigator. Is that ready to go? I, I mean, I feel for you, dude, but you, you kind of got over that way quick. Well, he read, he read a, a letter from his dead wife telling him to just get back on the sea, you idiot. I knew he was a sea man at heart. Oh, we got an email. Uh, all right. Bobbery is uh, a cutthroat backstabber. Don't listen to him. Here, da, ba, ba, ba. Nope, it's up here. Mailbox SP. Uh, Petuni. Yoo-hoo. Hi, Mari. How are you? I'm uh, good. No, very good. No, great. Lots of stuff has changed here. Oh, but not the Elder being mad at my brother. That's still the same. I do wish you'd come back to play sometime. Are you really busy? Are you going someplace far away? Like a place nobody's ever been? Wow, that'd be fun. I'm jealous. Well, if you ever have time to come back here, t uh, come play with me, okay? You have to promise. From Petuni. And she... What's that? Yeah. By the do way, we, it's it's yours. Do we? Do, do, I, Joel. You know what? Let's go back and play with Petuni. We're gonna go all the way back to the Great Tree, and we're gonna play with Petuni. Well, if you want a different way to play with Petuni, you could just go to uh, Young Petunis Live. A lot of pop-up ads that show up on that website, so I don't think you should actually go for it. Uh, you don't want to see what else is on that site, so you know what? Just uh -huh. forget I said anything. Uh huh. Just keep talking to the FBI there, okay? Mm hmm. It, look, I don't go to Young Poonies Live because honestly, I forgot what they were called until we got that lovely email. Oh, why don't you have a seat over there? <laughs> just Mario just slowly puts his hand over Yoshi's eyes for that email. It's just. Hey, Yoshi, don't look. Well, here we are at the tree. Was there anything behind that tree branch? Mm, probably not. Maybe so. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not a tourist, though. I'm the savior. There you are. Hey, Petunie. Yeah, I'll play with you, sure. Yes! Yes! Stump Petunia, ask any question, and there is, a, there is no question that she can't answer. Mm-hmm. So we gotta make an easy, easy question. Okay, so, um, Mario likes which person the most? Yay! We did it. She knows the answers to everything. What so are then the... she gives us a mystic egg, which I thought was going to be better than it was, but it just replenishes 5 HP and it's for a fucking side quest. Really? So, that was a colossal waste of time. I'm so sorry. Let's go back to town. Alright. Bye, Petuni. And that's why I'm taking away your internet privileges. Anyway, we're back in, in Rogueport. Oh, thank God. It's finally somebody put their foot down and took away the internet from Niskel. It was bound to happen anyway. So, we got our boat. We got our navigator. We got our waste of time taken care of. <laughs> now it's time to raise up anchor, set sail, and be off to Keel Hall Key. You know, Mario's such a pimp in this game, I'm not surprised that one of his girlfriend's names is Waste of Time. Dude, she's like five. Five in Pony years or Mario year? Never mind. She's five in human years, but three in Pony years. Huh? <laughs> but three thousand in anime Pony years. <laughs> so that means she. Wait, well, I don't know. Huh? What I'm saying is, is Mario loves lollies. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, <laughs> fucking drop it. I'm not, I'm not bringing no lollies onto my channel unless it's to, you know, shoot them in the face or something. <laughs> Launch them into the sun. Oh! Watch their flesh melt away in the... Yeah. Uh-oh. So one of those guys is an ex not spy. I can't tell who. I wonder who it is. But with that, we're taken in... Oh, wow. ...to Chapter 5. The Key to Pirates. Yar har fiddle dee dee, being a pirate is alright with me! Well, the key to pirates is that you have to make sure that you know how many there are. Boo! 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 You need to get pegged for that, boo! Oh. Ah! <laughs> See, the thing is, these pirates are, uh, you know, they're really big into the Soviet Union. There is no mine or yours, only ours. <laughs> you know, with this expedition and Paper Mario Thousand Year Door as a whole, you know, I'm getting pretty hooked. So I got some little debbies. Got some some little uh little, little hostess snacks. <laughs> I got I got uh, zebra cakes. I got oatmeal cream pies and uh, yo ho hos. <laughs> did you ever hear about the one experiment I did with candy a long time ago? What's that? You know, take a bunch of like juice based candies. You know, put them together and see if you could melt them. I decided to try it out and, you know, put a bunch of pieces into a into a bucket and laid it out in the sun just to, to melt it all. And I was like, you know what? What would this feel like if this just, like, dripped all over you? Basically what I'm saying is pour it all over a friend and call him Jolly Roger. You could pour it all over a cowboy. He'd be a Jolly Rancher. Oh, damn. That was even better. Crap. I hate to interrupt our wonderful little pun battle, but it seems that there is an issue here. The boat has just stopped. Oh, well, I guess this ship has sailed. No, it hasn't. It's stopped. Let me kill the spy. He'll be dead in the water. Well, at least we could have an awesome pool party. Cannonball! What's going on here? Uh oh. No way. Oh, ghosts? Dear. Uh -oh. oh, the moon and the stars are gone! Uh -oh. ah, dark clouds! Ah! Another theme in Nintendo games in the GameCube era were ghost ships! Uh. Ah! <laughs> yeah, 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 ah! We got an infestation of ghosts on the ship! Oh no! Oh dear me. Wow, this is cool. Quick, someone get out and push! <laughs> okay! Run! Well, there's only a few of them. I mean, it, it, it can't be that bad, can it? I mean, don't panic. Don't panic. We just need to just think calm. Let's fight back these ghosts. Maybe we can. Ha, 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 that's a lot! Oh no! Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Oh and the shit! Thing is, they actually are like will o wisps, so they're actually catching the ocean on fire. Oh, there's so many on screen. The power of the dolphin. The uh, GameCube. To abandon ship! <laughs> oh, We're going right. down! Wow. Oh, no! They're actually 
for taking him down the ship. What a bunch of jerks. But thankfully we were washed ashore on to Keel Hall Key. How lucky. Bobbery is gone and two other crew members. Oh, this is what happens when Rogue Sport is this close to the Bermuda Triangle. Fortunately, we've made a few huts. We've got a little bit of uh, supplies that we can sell and kind of set up a small little baby town for ourselves. And the ship is completely totaled now. Haven't seen any of the other three crew members. And yeah, this isn't looking good right now. This is depressing. <laughs> <sighs> Still nothing. We've run out of food and out of party members. You're next, Mario. Let's take a look at this town we have here. Oh. Got a little shop set up, too. Oh, what are you two bickering about? Nuh-uh, I'm braver than you. Nuh-uh, nuh-uh. You know, when they said they were making Lost Mario Edition, I didn't realize this is what it was going to be. Flavia, we are voting you off the island. Did I just hear a duel get started? I think you did. Oh, uh oh. Oh, goody! Hello, everyone. We oh. don't know what they. We don't know what they want. We don't know why they're here, but they want to hurt us, so let's hurt them back. Okay, uh, first order of business. Let's go ahead and swap out for Goombella to figure out what it is we're dealing with here again. Uh, Mario will use the hammer, because I gotta feel that that's a hot, burny fire we can't touch. I would like to think that these are the spirits of all the people in the audience who, you know, just didn't make it. Or got hit by some of the pieces of the set. The ones that hook tail eight. <laughs> Defeat hook to- oh wait, you did? Oh, cool. Alright, so let's tattle on these losers. That's an ember! Hmm. Eight, attack three. Oh lord, right. catching fire? Right, don't catch fire, got it. Uh, but we got an ice item that we can use. Let's try it! No, wait, you fool, it'll melt the ice! Not when the ice is this cold! Hehe. <laughs> ah <-ha. laughs> It's the ghost equivalent of, I'm not touching you, I'm not touching you, I'm not touching you, ha! Well, I don't know what else she can do, so, uh, switch to Mario, do the super hammer, knock you into him. Oh, I didn't know it did that. Have we done that before? Uh, like, once before. Bingo! Finally got one! That fills up the stage and that fills up the fire point. Flower points, I mean. Fire points! Fire, fire flower points! Fire! Fire! And to show that this, yeah, okay. Damn it, she's wearing a helmet. I thought that would work. I know, right? Maybe it's her hair that got burned. Nice dodge. Oh, Y'all got rocks! Get out of here! <laughs> Did he just scream? Yeah. Two, three, <laughs> boom! All right. Nice, nice. I killed the ghosts! Wait. 
Hmm, it's more like you made them pop, so you're more of a Ghostbuster. Well, that was only three of them, and this place is probably teeming with them. But now that we've set up camp here, uh, pretty, pretty well, I'd say. There's no reason why we shouldn't continue onward and explore the rest of the island. But, okay. we're gonna save that for next time on Let's Play Paper Mario The Thousand Deer Door. Next time, let's explore more of this haunted island. See you then. Spooky skit. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs>